The sponsor of today's video is The Dumb Wireless. The Dumb Wireless is a store that you can get the best dumb phones curated just for you, fast shipping, free shipping, and did I mention 10% off with the code JOSE10? Make sure to go to The Dumb Wireless to get the best dumb phones in the game. How's it going everyone? Today we have the Dumb Phone Awards. I'm going to start these from more complex, so transition devices, as I like to call them, to very basic lifestyle change devices. And we'll have the intermediary step, of course, the intermission devices as well. So you have transition devices, you have future phones, and then you'll have lifestyle change devices that I'll talk about. But these are the best devices, in my opinion, out of 2022. And as you see, a couple of them are smartphones, and I'll talk about why. So let us get started with the first category. So the first category is devices that you already have. And I mentioned this because, again, some of you may not have the money to switch to a dumb phone, or you're not ready yet, but you can do something with your devices that you already have. So for example, right here, we have the iPhone, you can go to screen time on the settings, you can set up your app limits, I have set up here podcast and music to 20 minutes every day. And whenever you set up the passcode for screen time, you give it to a friend to set up that passcode or a significant other or a family member, they set it up, let's say is that right? This is not your same unlocks passcode, you put your password right there for whatever it is. Uh, for whatever it is that you know you need to do. And that way you don't have the ability to reset your screen time without that passcode that your friend or family member has. So this is a good way to use what you already have in order to reduce your screen time. But if you wanna go further and you have an Android, for example, here is my ghost mode uh, device. This is a Pixel 3. This can be done with any Android. You learn Android debug bridge, you know how to work it, you know how to use it, and then you just install and uninstall whatever you don't need. As you see right here, this is not how Androids usually come. I have installed what I think I'm going to need and what I think it's going to be best for my productivity and everything else I have uninstalled. There is no Play Store. There is no YouTube on this. Uh, there's Maps. There is Libby because I enjoy audiobooks. There's WhatsApp. There's a podcast app, but nothing else. And I uninstall pretty much everything. And you can continue uninstalling, like, for example, this one right here. If you don't want anything, I uninstall it right there. I don't want access to YouTube. I don't want access to a store to download other things. You can uninstall it. You just need to know and learn how to customize it. It takes maybe 30 minutes to an hour to learn how to do this, but it's worth it because you don't get to waste the money that, you know, into a new device, but you use what you already have. So that is the smartest possible devices work with what you already have category. The winners are whatever you already have. Just learn how to work it and learn how to reduce it. But let's get into the next category, which is transition devices. So now we go into the best transition devices for 2022. We have the Xiaomi F22 Pro. We have the Cat S22. And then we also have the Jelly 2e or the jelly 2 whichever one it is that you prefer the cheaper version or the more expensive version they're both great devices this one has a lot of smart things but as i mentioned in my previous segment you can uninstall uh, or disable a lot of things and if you learn uh, android debug bridge all of these can be customized to the minimal viable product which is a very good thing for those of you who want a more simple lifestyle but here we have the xiaomi f22 pro excellent device for international users and again you have the ability there this is a touchscreen device and it has all the apps if you want them but you can also uninstall them with adb uh, but you have the keypad. If you want to use the keypad, you have the touchscreen. If you want to use the touchscreen, and this is the best of both worlds. You can have all the apps that you need and all the apps that you don't need. And this is the same thing here for the Jelly 2E. You have the ability to use the Jelly 2 uh, to the best of your ability, but because of that tiny screen, I mean, look at that screen is so small when you compare it to an iPhone, for example, right? Right there, you have an iPhone screen. Right here, you have a jelly screen. And it's not as addictive. You're not going to be super enthralled watching videos or shows on this because it's just so small. Same thing with the Cat S22 Flip. It's a flip device. Uh, I find it hard pressed for people to be watching videos on the flip devices, especially since you have to hold them like this. 
And that's not the most amazing experience. But again, this is Android. You can customize it to have the apps that you want and the apps that you don't want. You can also uninstall them. So it's a great option. It's a rugged device. And uh, it does bring a very good battery life because, again, you're not using it as much as your smartphone. But very good device right here, the Cat S22. Now, in terms of pricing, the most expensive one will be the Cat S22 and the Xiaomi F22. They are going to come around $250. The Jelly 2 is around $150, $179, depending on if you find it at a promotion. And I think it's an excellent device. Again, uh, it also has a uh, extra nicety, which is student mode. And student mode, you do i think i believe i put this password one two three four five six yes and student mode you will get restricted apps like for example see right there all of these got grayed out i'm not able to use them because i am on student mode and you can set that up again give the passcode to a friend and boom you have the ability to use your apps once again um so i think this is a uh, good transition devices the best transition devices for 2022 and they have a great deal of functionality again you know you can install whatever you need uber spotify maps all of these devices have the ability to use that and these two right here have the ability to do android auto so they're transitioning you into a simpler lifestyle because of their screens or keypads or things like that but the, you're not there yet into the more very basic feature phone devices which will be our next category so we're gonna get to the next category which is feature phone devices so now we have the feature phone category and the winners for this year are with kios the nokia 2780 this, this is the best kios device it does have some apps but it's not going to be able to install everything and anything you want i think it's excellent for a transition to a simpler lifestyle it does still have some maps that you can get to for for example transit or it will follow you if you're driving and you don't want to get super lost but it's not going to be the same experience as a full smartphone or like the transition devices that i showed you but right here you have a podcast app you have a store with a couple of things here and there i have made reviews on all of these devices so make sure to check those out but again it's a good experience it's fast it's snappy kios has gone through a lot of iterations and 3.1 which is this what the, this device has is excellent it does have usb-c so that's a plus these are also feature phones and they have the same operating system so this one has again messages it has snake it does have a rudimentary browser but again you're not going to be trusting it that much it's not going to be fast it does have an fm radio right here and of course you have a couple of games a calculator a calendar things that are very basic so again these work these have some features some niceties this one even has some bluetooth headphones in the back uh, this is a special device called the express music so it's you know more music geared uh, but it's very basic and these are very good transition devices for you again i have reviews on all of these if you want to go in depth to see what is more of the functionality of these devices and finally we're going to our last category which is just lifestyle change devices simple devices that are not going to take your time, that are just going to be super basic. Our last category is basic devices. Very simple, not obtrusive. They only have tools, they don't have anything extra. Um, I would even say out of these three, the Punk, the Mudita, and the Light Phone, there's a clear winner in my opinion, and there is something that needs to be improved so let's start with the the one that needs the most improvement but finally got released the mudita pure we saw a video i made videos and live streams on this and the reality is that it's not ready for prime time yet but if you only need calls and texts that are one-to-one -one, no group text message no nothing like that just sending a text message to one person to a friend to a family member this is not a bad device like you can it has made a lot of improvements you can make it work with t-mobile here in the united states and internationally it has a couple more configurations but it makes it to the best of 2022 for very simple devices and premium devices these are all above 300 dollars uh, except the light phone right now is 250 because they're running a sale up to the next uh, couple of weeks but 
Uh, punk is a premium. This is a premium, but it's not super premium support in all of them. I think Mudita does a great job and Lightphone, of course, does an amazing job as, as supporting and updating the devices. Punk is lagging behind, but if you need calls and texts, this is more reliable than the Mudita. So I would say if you're ranking them, you will definitely have Mudita in third place, Punk in second place, and Lightphone in first place, just because of the support network that they have. And these are devices that are going to transition your lifestyle. So for example, here, the light phone has only phone, music, podcast, directions, alarm, calculator, settings, hotspot, and notes. That's it. That's what they're working with. And all of these are optional. You can even have a, a phone here, the light phone that only has phones, alarms, and a calculator. And that's all you need. And if you only need notes, then you can only have notes and alarm and phone. And that's pretty much all you have on the phone. So it's very customizable. It's very good when it comes to support. Uh, the Mudita Pure right here has messages and alarm and a meditation timer and some music, but that's about it. The Punk only has calls, text messages, and I wouldn't even count, count Pigeon. It has had too many issues. That's for the signal integration. I wouldn't count on it. So these are the devices that are the best for 2022. And I'll bring some of them back so that you can see them. You know, essentially Jelly 2 transition devices right here. And of course, more basic devices like the Nokia devices right here. And it has been quite a good year for dumb phones in 2022. I'm excited for what's to come in 2023. I will bring you an honorable mention since a lot of you are looking for a QWERTY keyboard. This is the only device. This is a smartphone. It's a um, Unihertz Titan Pocket uh, or Titan Slim. This one is what it is. And they do have a couple of extra configurations. But this one right here is a keyboard device if you're looking for that in specific. So if that's what you're into, if you want a keyboard, this is probably one of the best devices in the market right now for that. There is no perfect device. I'd like to say that again. But either you want to customize it like whatever you already have, or you can customize one of the Android devices, the transition devices to fit your needs, or you have to compromise. So that is the lesson that we have out of 2022. You either customize it to your liking and learn how to do it, or you compromise and live with a little bit less. I hope this video filled you with a lot of information and give you an overview of where we are in 2022 and the best devices for 2020. Two, 2023 is going to be an exciting year. There's a lot of releases that I'm really excited for, and I'll be sharing with you guys a little bit more about that in the near future. Make sure to check the sponsor of this video, the Dumb Wireless, which is a store that curates dumb phones and only has what they deem the best dumb phones for you. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your support and everything that you have done for this year. And I'll probably see you new year and maybe a live stream over the next couple of weeks. But thanks for watching. Thank you for your viewership. And if you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices that I have reviewed, make sure to put it in the comments below. I'll be interacting with you guys. See you guys in the next video.